because I haven't done YouTube. And there's a great start to the game. That's the choices I made. No choices, yeah. Let me start the game. I think I have like two episodes right now. And there's six episodes. Chapter and begin episode one, episode two, I'm sword in darkness. Episode three, trick you. Ooh. Episode four, the dead frighten you. Episode five. And episode six, they can live in my world or die in the open. But for now, we are on episode one, and we should do great. Also, this is major spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen this. For thousands of years, House Falls have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of Woolswood, they harvest the rare and wood trees. The North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses, seek to claim Forrest anyone for themselves, and Faith Fox Forrester hangs in the balance of the Force. Love Star Wars references. Hello, Karina. And they've already made a mistake because I haven't even got subtitles on. That's better. Now let's enter the world of rest of us once again. No, it's not a horror game. It's a Telltale game. To his knees by the men of the Story. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. My horror game won't be done for two days. Sword won't clean itself, you know. So we're stuck with this and Little Big Planet tomorrow. Ooh, pick up sword. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Ooh. Now that's a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, we are just Don't a be an ass. Oh, don't <laughs> be an ass, Bowen. Apologies, <laughs> oh, your lordship. <laughs> I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near yes, the I did. at the Whispering Wood. Was I so always scream and all that. He was out of his tent. Next, they'll tell us he got tearing too. <laughs> so what really? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny Man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't have to deny. Oh, I you! His ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning not in the store. This girl's more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. I'll fetch him some wine. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Look at them all just the laughing. The Ooh. night we celebrate. I'm celebrating as well, am I? To Rob Stark, the King in the North! The the king king of of Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, 
and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods of favors. Onward to Castle Rock! Oh, oh, to the uh, winter is coming! Winter is coming! Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. What do you mean? You served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? Uh, I don't want to fight. You, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts in time. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not Ooh, as a squire, yay. but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. So I'm no longer a squire? As of tomorrow, no. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Yes, my lord, you are the best. Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I, have I like being quiet. So, I outrank you. You should help me. I don't like you already. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, boy. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than knowing. Ooh, See, that's what you No expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? All right, now you're getting my noobs. Big <laughs> shop. Pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. All I know, we could be squires for life. I ain't fucking with it. What a waste of fucking time. I ain't gonna... listening to your wine. With that attitude, you'll never be more than this. Easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle, then I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. The Red Wedding. Ooh, where do I know the Red Wedding from? Trust me, with an episode. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Nice night for a wedding. How often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Oh, something's all right. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Gary. What? What's wrong? What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Oh, uh, well, you've been a dick. 
luck. Bye. <laughs> oh, great. That's a great decision. <laughs> Shit! Stabbed right in the back. Ready, boys. Oh god. No, don't kill him! Shoot that one! I'm Captain America, bitches! Uh oh. Never mind. Oh lord. Oh, messed that one up. Oh, I have to crawl now. I could have a lot faster. <gasps> Shit. Get off. This was a nice party. Oh, get away. Oh, get away. How about? Off. Get off! Oh god. <laughs> Roderick took an hour to. Oh no, he took a sword through me. Jesus Christ! Speak up, Garrett. He, he's gone, my lord. There was nothing I could do. They're maxons, though. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? Come to him. I, I didn't leave him. But I couldn't save him. <laughs> Find a weapon quickly. Oh, give me that. I mean, why didn't I ask the sword? No. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sold ago. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. That never made it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. I'm not leaving him. <gasps> oh, actually, yeah, I may have to leave him. I don't want to leave you. Oh, yeah, oh God, that is a sword. I ain't, I ain't gonna be taking it away, Mel. You have to go. I, I won't leave you, my lord. And you will. My lord, by your God, you will obey me. I ain't leaving him. Tell your uncle. Tell him. The North Grove. Must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? 
Know what? Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those forest go. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! It's like sports day all over again. <laughs> We've lost ah. I'm gonna get free back for this. I'm gonna kill him. And I'm gonna rip him to shreds. I actually like him. Ooh, trophy. Oh, oh yay. Tell me this is gonna be in every episode. Do 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 do. This is like the best theme song I've ever heard in a TV show. Slash video game now. Art directed by Joe Hancock. <laughs> oh, pig. Ooh, move, look around. I thought of the pig with my sword. Oh, great. Lord. Fresh. You would never have guessed I was blood, would it? Ooh, it's a... Oh. I meant kill the other pig on this one. Ooh, somebody bring you lot down. Anything over here in the cards? Hmm? No? Ah. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. That's Father's car. Oh, no. You sick things. Only I get to kill pigs. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I ain't getting fed to no pigs. <laughs> Straight up. I'm gonna kill you. You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my... Land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. Nope. <laughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. Try and take it for me. <laughs> Ouch. You're supposed to hit it. What are you doing? Finish this fucking pig farmer. You were supposed to kill him with the sword. Not get beaten up by you the pitchfork. Ooh, an axe. Uh, a pig farmer with an axe. I shut you gob. 
No, you have one left. Next. Mm, you like a good spear, do you? And you... Die. Give me my soul back and I'm gonna whoop you. What is it with people hitting me in the knee? You just, family. you just tried. Me. I have no quarrel with you. No, please. You just tried killing me. I'm gonna kill you back. I don't care. Is she alive? I'll take as a no. I tried to stop them. Don't you die as well? Oh, I have no family. I'll kill the men who did this. Yes, we will. I'll change the name of this as well. It's Garrett. Get the Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived. Meet us in the Great Hall, quickly! That's a nice photo. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she, she was only eight years old. Oh. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. The blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than that. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Elves just walk all over us. Exactly, so I whopped them. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Oh! Hold the wound open for me, would you? Hold my own wound up. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh no. Oh, that's disgusting. Lose the Lord of the House and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours are fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. Our house will never fall. Pythor Consulates hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now, although he is young and altogether unprepared to leave. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Can't be strong, will you? I'm surprised the maggots in here, to be fair. I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, a squire, not his son, Roderick. 
Not that Roger couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. That's not how it happened. Roger could already fall. Mm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I will know. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Walk? Bloody hell, you Superman. Look at the window. The iron will grow. There's nothing I got but the sword. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Who was the new lord of House Forester? Why, Ethan, of course. Um. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time I tell, but... Lady Forrest. Welcome home. Oh, hello, Lady Forrest, huh? Relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett... I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Yes, they're all dead. They died. D-I-E-D. -E I'm so sorry. Later. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end. Yes. I thought Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest mm. man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his only son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, he... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Yes, Grove. Grove. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. He demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roy. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. <laughs> Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones who should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. Ramsay Snow's coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within a week. Those men will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your own book. I doubt death, but I'll try. You ask too much but they do deserve, deserve to die. To die. All of them. I say we fight. <laughs> Listen to your nephew. 
He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our Lord. Then what's to be done? Emma Goo. <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. It's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead me. He is the Lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for uh, what he did. Square. Fuck the Boltons. <laughs> but their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. Like Good luck killing us all. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, you can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. Which is? You're sending him to the war. The no. Done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Not the wall. Oh wait, yeah, John Snow. So I'm not afraid. Take me to the wall. Fair, but it is what's best. I like John Snow. That settles it. Then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. We'll yeah, that's much time. I was gonna take your horse anyway. Yeah, you, you, you are the one sending me away. Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I'm gonna stab a sword through your heart since you send me away. God's willing, someday I will. But for now. Have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Uh, no, no way you can go come back and kill you. Volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. Be a man called Sobby Knight. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. I kill everyone, Emma. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. <laughs> Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. Yeah, what's the North Grove, mate? You haven't told me yet. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. All right, and just it's better kept that way. Just tell me. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No, I only told you. This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. What's the North Grove? But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. But I don't want to become a ranger, I want to become a sword man. I am from ice. I am from ice. Bye. Remember. You represent House Forrester. Your actions no. at the wall will reflect the honor and yes, dignity. Yes, 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 I'll be strong. I'll be strong. I know you will. Can I go now? You did kick me out. And you just left me out. <laughs> really, Emma? You can come with me if you like. Or just give me that, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I'll take the necklace. Be safe. I will.
Yay, trophy. I like this game. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. Congratulations, your lordship. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was only because you're out. losing. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here, and I promise I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and. Won't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Who's gonna die? Wait, Ryan, what? She's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Altengrin said he got sent to the wall. Yes, I did. I miss Gareth. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I he killed Duncan people. And them talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about me, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And um, he calls you a milksop. He'll be fighting like a boss. Sir Royland forgets himself. I'll have him punished for saying that. What does Milksop mean? Yes, they are, Emma. They I will all be dead. Good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Fighting's easy. And we all used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. Then, and everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. Until he died. He never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Don't know that one. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I'm gonna stay the way I am. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Yay! Eat sweets till the crack of dawn. Do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. <laughs> I it with that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. I'm gonna fool it's around as much as I want. Oh no, 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 no. I always have jokes, Emma. I'm just trying to think of some. It's normally easier with horror games. I get scared and bounce everywhere. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be in the main hall now in a minute, Dad. Give it to Chakaj. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. Oh God, no! He's come demanding justice. <laughs> I didn't mean to Can't kill him. Meet with Duncan. He is the Castellan. Stay with us, please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. Oh my god. I will but, but, I but, but the boss. Say, but his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man, anyways. I right. gotta go with my boss. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. Sorry, kids. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. Eventually. I'll kill you. I'll kill you all. 
They showed up unannounced. Lord White tells you <laughs> I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. Business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Yes, not do I will. Rash. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, you now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men and the backing of House Bolton. All I don't care, kill them all. To stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men. Exactly, I like this guy. And you, you're gonna die. Lord Ethan, is it? Yes. My condolences for your father and brother. You're fully dead. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Ah, uh, yeah. Not happening. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Oh, I've been oh. waiting for this day all my life. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me. But it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. <laughs> you fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? The I don't like you. Roose Bolton is the warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Oh, that's a bit far, mate. You can't say that. You're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. Do you, you have to rest? Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? <laughs> Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Yeah. That's a lie. Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord of How do you answer for your men? Too, Lord your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I haven't seen him. He's never here. <laughs> I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, I'm holding you responsible. And you'll answer for what he's done. I'm not Try me. Until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. Bring him to me. What kind of fucking house is this? A house I bet of one of yours. Men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. Considering you lost it and all. But this... This is not over. Shop. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Slivering. Yes, Emma. Lord, of this house. Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven, letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. 
Then we'll see whose word is law. Still mind because you're a liar and you're fat and you should die. And you're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Well that means. I don't speak olden language. Except for swear words. I think I done pretty well. I was wrong about your son, my lady. We stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Oh you can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favour. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough. Yes, we do, Weber. Yes, we do. It's presented to her as it should be. <laughs> I wonder where Hufflepuff is. What what were you? Carved ironwood tree. Ethan made this for me. Yonkish coin. Mm. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. Oh, it's all the same family. Oh, we are maiden. Oh, that's terrible for you. Let me guess, Roderick. Kind of Lady Marjorie to oh. Once belongs to Lady Elena. R R Roderick? Did, did, did Roderick give you the letter? Can, can I read it? Is it from Roderick? Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Oh Lady god, Marjorie not the red and red and be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Let me just finish the letter. Oh, well, let's close the treasure test of despair. And uh, that's the old tomb. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Ha! I knew Roger would be here somewhere. Hope to see them all someday. So do I. That day might not be soon though, since um, Roger kind of popped his clogs first time he's in. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Same. Letter from Mother. me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family <laughs> needs her help. <laughs> yes, Emma. Emma, stop flirting with video game characters. Oh no. Hit knocking. One moment. Oh, sorry, my lady. I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, oh, yeah, no, we might as well stay. No, it's fine. Come in. I'm begging your pardon, my lady, but. You all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine. I'm fine. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? Yes, I do. I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. Well, why are you Sorry, asking super friend. questions on? Yes, good friends, I saw right? I Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the royal sept, talking to Queen Cersei. <gasps> Not Cersei. Cersei! Not Cersei! 
They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by and I heard them arguing about House Forrester. And... House Forrester? Oh God. This is Bandev, so he's involved. Is hell. I'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my Okay, Emma. Oh, you! Know, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Not Come, you! There's something we must discuss. I'd like you and I'd like Susie. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. Right, skip to the question. What do you want? What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. Cersei's evil. <laughs> well done, then. And she hinted you a traitor. What? She Me? Was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? Critter? She intends to make you miserable. Knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know. But she's waiting for us now. And I promised I would bring you to her. Oh, the you would bring me to the most me. evil person. I oh, I gotta kill you. Lady. I'm not a traitor. I know you're not, but you must find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. No, because I hate Cersei. Where's Tyrion? Tyrone. Tyrion? Tyrion? I can't remember. Tyrion lands, so not Tyrone. Wait, where's your brother? I like him. But I like Cersei. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. I'm gonna need luck if I'm dealing with this bitch. I mean, why did it say I do? Five minutes till we hit the other mark. Right, well, I'm going to end it here. Oh, there's Tyrion, speaking of a little thing. You can do and this. we will go on next time, I guess. Bye-bye, everyone.